Believe it or not, there is only one bilingual children's theater in the U.S., and it happens to be right here in New York City on the Lower East Side. Our Adam Miller paid a visit to Teatro Sea, where Latinx culture takes center stage. Our Latinx culture is so rich in myth and imagery and, and stories, and why not you or wonderful things like puppets to, to tell the stories. Dr. Manuel Moran, founder of Teatro Sea, first fell in love with puppetry and children's theater as a young boy in Puerto Rico. I was a kid who was exposed to theater when I was in third grade. A group like mine went to my school and presented a show and I was mesmerized. The show had puppets, they had live actors, musicians, sets, and so it was magical. And I went to my mom and said, Mom, this is what I want to do. And that is exactly what he did. Manuel established Teatro Sea's Children's Theater in Puerto Rico in 1985, then opened the New York Outpost in 1993. Now, they are the country's only bilingual theater for kids. The name Sea, Sea is a verb in Spanish, and it means to be. It's an invitation to be. And that's really, you know, why, why I named the company Sea. For Manuel, Teatro Sea couldn't only be a theater for kids. Being part of New York's Latino community is where Sea realized they needed to be, to tell stories that are inclusive and representative of, and steeped in, Latinx culture. It's really to empower the community, especially young, young kids and young adults, um, through theater and the arts. Being a Latine or Latino is not just one thing. We are many countries, and within each country, there's many differences as well. So we celebrate all that diversity. All that is, is, is welcome here. All those accents, all those different words. And of course, and it's, you know, mixed with the American culture, our new reality, with the New York culture. We have so many beautiful legends and myths, and we also Latinize children's tales. We have a Mexican Pinocchio, and we talk about the story of Pinocchio, but we talk about uh, immigration. <laughs> I will fix your sombrerito, y listo, voila! Things like that, we, we change the story a little bit, like a tango dancing Cinderella. She's the best tango dancer of the kingdom. It's not that she's just pretty and this, no, it's just that they, you know, she has an amazing skill and we talk about tango, we talk about Argentinian music and, and cultures. The puppet has an amazing power of communicating and connecting with us not only with the kids, but with everyone. And in order to deepen the connection, they're adapting their stories from the stage to the page with a series of bilingual books for children. There's the Say a Kids Network on YouTube. They also host Latin arts and culture festivals like Borimix and Arte para mi gente. There's also a cabaret night with Punta Sea and the International Puppet Fringe Festival dedicated to the art of puppetry. For many years before I performed, because I also am an actor, I'm a puppeteer, uh, I would look through the, the curtain to, the, you know, to see the kids' excitement, and I would always remember how excited I was as a kid. At the end of the show, I see how the kids clap, how the questions, because we always have questions and answers, and, and that illusion that I feel very proud because I am thinking that they ex are experiencing, or I'm helping them experience something like I experienced as a kid. And coming this month, you can catch Teatro Sea's new production of Sueño de Reyes, a retelling of the biblical story of the Three Kings, but with a Latine twist. For more information on their upcoming performances, you can check out their website at teatrosea.org. For Arts in the City, I'm Adam Miller.